All right, all right, all right. Hello, everybody, and welcome. How's everyone doing today? It's time, finally, finally, ladies and gentlemen, for the first new game playthrough of a valid AAA release everyone's been waiting for in over a month. The last new game, major new game that we actually had that I think people were looking forward to uh, was probably sometime in, like, mid-June. I guess the, the last good game that was a new release, a solid new release, would probably be Inside, which came out at the end of June. Um, but, you know, it's been pretty slow. It's been pretty slow for a good month and a half here. And finally today we turned that around. If you don't know, I'm Dark Side Phil. I don't know how you would have gotten here if you weren't aware of who I was. And uh, I'm excited for something new, something different. Right? We're starting this month off fresh. It's August 2nd, 2016. A new release Tuesday. And today we're going to be playing Batman The Telltale Series. Episode 1. Fresh off the, the release block, right? So. <clears throat> yes, it's going to be an interesting experience for a couple reasons, alright? First of all, um, unlike a lot of the other Telltale Games series... Uh, this is a huge, huge mainstream character in pop culture right now. This is really the first time where Telltale is grabbing something that's like, uh, you know, iconic and putting it into a video game. Now you could argue, well, what about Game of Thrones? That was also huge in pop culture. Well, I agree, but the characters in Game of Thrones, the Telltale series weren't the main characters from the TV shows or the books. It was pretty much periphery characters. In this case, with Batman the Telltale series, we're exploring a game that's going to be about Bruce Wayne, the main character of Batman. <clears throat> so, in, in this case, uh, I think it's going to be quite an exciting, uh, an exciting thing. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope that uh, you enjoyed today's stream. Apparently... This game, the first episode, is supposed to be over two hours long. And if that is the case, I'm excited because that's good. That's a good way to start off a first episode of an episodic game. Do a nice long entry so you can get the, the intro stuff out of the way, the premise of what you're doing out of the way. People can get used to the gameplay mechanics. <laughs> and they, real, they really feel like they're jumping in headfirst into this new game. If this was only like 90 minutes long, it could feel more rushed than anything else, right? So that's good, and the bottom line is, it is all I'm doing on stream today. So, it is the main focus of the stream, I'm going to take my time, I'm not going to, no need to rush or anything like that. Now, <laughs> let me say something up front, alright? There's a new gameplay mechanic that's being implemented in this game. I don't know if anyone's aware, I talked about it on social media last night, but I don't know how many people, you know, saw my tweets or whatever. It's called Crowd play now telltale explains it like this when you boot up the game you have the option to create a unique code it'll also display a website by which people watching the game can go to this website log in with the code and then when a critical choice comes up in the game they can vote and basically the votes will determine what happens during those periods during the game basically taking the control out of the hands of the person who's actually playing the game now, ideally, what Telltale has said is that this is for in-person groups. Like, you're in front of your TV and you have five friends that are at your house, and they're going to vote. That's kind of what it's designed for right now, okay? Telltale has, has come out publicly and said, We don't think that this is good for streaming, because live streaming has tons of delay. Alright? If you're not aware, typically, live streaming... Uh, has around at least 30 seconds of delay between what the person is doing, like when I'm actually holding the controller, like right now, you hear this? That's me moving around my PlayStation 4 dashboard. But in reality, by the time you see that on stream, it's probably around 30 seconds after I already did it. So what I've done today, and we're going to experiment. If it's really bad delay, then we're not going to do it. But I'm going to experiment before we start with the gameplay. We're going to do a latency test. Where what I will do is I will do something on stream and ask people in the stream chat to type a, a number uh, when they see me do it. Okay? And 
we'll see, gee, is it like 10 seconds delay? If it's 10 seconds delay, I think it's actually doable. Because what'll happen is whenever a choice comes up, I'll pause the game, I'll wait 10 seconds, then I'll unpause it, and then the voting will basically spill through for what people want. But if it ends up being ridiculously long, then it's not going to be viable, okay? And the thing is, I did enable on YouTube, there is an, an option, unlike Twitch, by the way, there's an, an option on YouTube to either go high latency but low buffering for viewers, or go low latency but a chance for higher buffering. So for the, the, the purposes of today's gameplay, I actually went and vied for the low latency. I certainly don't know how it's going to go, alright? I don't know. So, I kind of put my hands up. I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen here. Uh, it could it could not work. It could work. I don't know. But we're going to test it today. We're going to see. Um, now, I guess what Telltale is saying is if this is a popular feature, they may implement this as a streaming feature later on. Um, but who knows? I don't know how it's going to go. I don't. Uh, we'll have to see firsthand here. Like I said, we will perform a latency test and see how it goes. So, that is it. Today's gameplay is going to be the first episode of Batman the Telltale series right here live on stream. And then tonight, I'm going to do a review of it. Because I think a lot of people are going to want to know, without major spoilers, what the game is about, how it's implemented into a Telltale game taking that Batman formula, and if it's worth their money. In fact, already I got a few people <laughs> who kind of uh, messaged me uh, on Twitter this morning. They were like, Phil... Is there any way to get this game without buying the whole season pass? Because I only see the season pass option available right now, and I don't want to spend 25 bucks unless I'm sure that I like this game. Or what if I just buy episode one, but then I want to buy the rest of the episodes? All I see is the entire season pass, so what happens? So here's the thing. A lot of people are probably interested, very interested in the game, but don't want to spend the money till they know if it's good. So that's my purpose today, is not only to enjoy and play through this first episode with you live on stream, but also later tonight, I will be reviewing this for KO Gaming. Which you can see right here on the title screen here, youtube.com forward slash KO Gaming 1. Um, it should be fun. Now, ladies and gents. Also, I would like to obviously, while we're talking about KO Gaming, just do a tiny bit of self-promotion here and say... Please check out my countdown, which just finished over there last night. It is my top 10 personal picks for the worst things about modern gaming. I've been working on this all weekend. Uh, three parts, spanning over 45 minutes long, which is why I did three parts. It's hilarious because some people are like, why did you do three parts? Well, because did you want to sit there and watch a 45 minute long video that dragged on? Or would you rather watch it in digestible clumps, which is why I did it this way? Um... But people seem to like it. It's the very first extended uh, countdown style that video that I've done for KO Gaming. Uh, in the past, I've done uh, top 10 best and worst things about E3 this year. But that was it. So this is the real first major countdown series that I did. People really seem to be enjoying it. I hope that you'll check it out. And let me know what you think and spread the word if you like it. Because if people like these countdown series, it's something that I will do when I have the free time to do them over on KO Gaming. All right, it's a little shameless self-promotion there. <clears throat> okay, so what else would I like to talk about? Well, everyone, if you're not aware, there's a lot going on today out of nowhere. All right, first of all, Batman the Killing Joke, the new animated movie from DC Comics releases today on DVD, Blu-ray, and also on demand. Now, this is the R-rated animated movie. I'm going to say that again. It's R-rated. It's the very first one that ever got an R rating for a DC animated picture. And apparently, it is very true to the comics line of The Killing Joke. This is the most, one of the most gruesome, dark uh, plot lines of Batman ever created. And I'm interested in seeing it. I might not see it tonight. But I'm going to definitely watch it sometime this week. I'm interested in seeing that. I just want to throw that out there if you're a Batman fan. This is a huge week. Also this weekend, Suicide Squad, the movie that features kind of the ragtag group of DC Comics villains teaming up against their will in order to do good deeds to maybe get a little bit of, uh, you know, leniency on their sentences or whatever. 
that goes live uh, this weekend. It's gonna, or you know, some people I'm sure will already seen it, and there'll be previews all week. But that goes live this weekend, and I will be watching that this Saturday and doing a reactions video to what I think about the movie on Sunday, probably Sunday night. Unfortunately, the embargo on reviews has lifted as of this morning, and I'm not even kidding you. Pretty much every review on the internet about this movie is terrible. Saying it's garbage, it's a mishmash, too many things at once, the Joker's completely underutilized and not good. Um, and it's pretty much, I, I hate to say it, confirming every single thing that I said about the movie for just from watching the trailers for the past year and a half. And I don't want to say I told you so, but I have to see the movie first. And then judge for myself. I'm still hopeful that maybe there's something, some redeeming qualities in this movie. I'm going to judge for myself this weekend. All right. But just throwing that out there. That movie is also coming out this weekend. So there's pretty much a crazy amount of DC Comics content this week. Insane amounts of DC Comics content. Um, pretty crazy, right? Now, in addition to that, if you weren't aware, out of nowhere, this morning there was a patch released for Overwatch. If you had no idea what this was, don't worry, because most people didn't. No one ever talked about it. All right? It, uh, it is a Rio 2016 patch, an expansion content update. If you don't know what that means, uh, the Olympic Games in Rio, Brazil start, I believe this week, actually. Like, all the, the athletes are arriving, and I believe that the events are starting soon. Well, to tie in with that, Overwatch has a patch with a brand new game mode. It's Lucio Ball, which basically is kind of like Rocket League with only playing as Lucio. And unique loot packs for this event that give you uh, Olympic-themed items, outfits, and all kinds of stuff in that regard. It's pretty sweet, in my opinion, for a free update. Of course, you have to earn these loot packs or buy them with your own money, from what I am to understand. Um, you can't use, like, in-game currency to buy these loot boxes. But that also released, over, you know, out of nowhere. And it's pretty crazy that, you know, out of nowhere they would release an expansion like that. But hey, I guess that's what Blizzard's going to be doing. Uh, you know, they, they already gave a free DLC character. Now they're giving out this big update, alright? <clears throat> so, here's the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow I have a open day. What I mean by that is tomorrow I have nothing scheduled for my gameplay stream. So I have three options in mind for tomorrow. Here they are, and I'm actually going to put this up publicly later tonight on my Twitter. You can see it right here on screen, at they call me DSP. People are going to be able to vote on what you want to see me play tomorrow. Option number one, Doom has a new multiplayer expansion with two new multiplayer modes. That is one in contention because I love Doom, I loved the multiplayer, and I'd like to check out those modes eventually. Number two, Fallout 4 had a big expansion where you can make your own vault. And apparently there's also a little bit of story elements and aspects tied into it, okay? Um, so that's also an option for me to play tomorrow. And then of course third would be this big update to Overwatch. Playing this new Lucio Ball mode and trying to unlock some of the new rio olympic event uh loot boxes and going from there so those are the three options for tomorrow's gameplay stream all right so we'll see i'm curious as to what will win this vote this will be going live on my twitter later tonight and you must vote on twitter in order to participate so i'm just throwing that out there um you know i hope people will vote later tonight and we'll see what it is we'll see what wins <clears throat> and we'll go from there so that's tomorrow. That's going to determine what tomorrow is. And then Thursday, yes, it is the premiere. My Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 Marathon is this Thursday. I'll be playing it live with face cam and that Sonic, at least the Sonic, uh, you know, hat for some of the stream. I'm going to try. I tried doing that a year ago when I was playing Bloodborne and it kind of worked, but not really. So I'll play wire for some of the stream, but it's going to be interesting. One of the worst Sonic games ever made. The patrons from June voted. The patrons from June spoke. And this is what we'll be doing all day Thursday. And if this, this does turn out to be good, hell, then, uh, you know, then it'll be an ongoing playthrough. As I've already said, I would love to do it as an ongoing playthrough. <clears throat> so there you have it, ladies and gents. There you have it. All right. 
Now, the only other <clears throat> real thing that I have to talk about before we get started. By the way, don't worry. Yes, uh, you know, I started this stream a little late today. It's fine. Batman is only around two hours long. So, like I said, we're going to have plenty of time to finish this up on the stream today. One thing I'd like to announce, okay, is that, you know, I'm always constantly thinking forward, and it is now the month of August. And it's obvious that doing uh, patron's choice kind of stuff isn't working right now. I tried to do a patron's choice goal on Patreon for the month of July, and we did not hit the funding goal. So it seems to me that's not what people want. They would rather maybe vote for things that are more definitive, things that they know they have a chance of definitively seeing in a playthrough, rather than just a uh, um, uh, uh, anomalous kind of a, a chance of a playthrough happening when you don't even know because people didn't start nominating anything yet. You know what I mean? Wouldn't you rather <clears throat> pledge and vote on something that you know it's a one of three games versus, well, I pledge, but then I'm going to nominate, and there's who knows if there's even a chance of what I'm nominating will be played. And so... Ladies and gents, um, what I'm going to do for the goal on my Patreon for the month of August is going to be a choice between three games that will be a playthrough, and this playthrough will start in early to mid-September, alright? I am eliminating JRPGs from the equation because JRPGs at this point are not going to work for Patron's Choice playthroughs because they're too fucking long. It's that simple. A 60 plus hour game is not going to work. For a patron event. It's just not. Because then I cannot deliver quickly enough on what people want. And it's not fair to the patrons. It's not fair to me to have a game that's dragged out for months. I learned my lesson this year with Persona 3. I learned my lesson. So. August's goal. Is going to be between three games. Two of which I've already determined. Alright. So let me uh, uh, explain. If we hit the funding goal for August. Alright. For... Patreon, I'm going to do a playthrough of a game, and unlike previously, I am promising a full playthrough, alright? I'm actually promising it now, so that way there's no misconceptions of people expecting a full playthrough, and then they don't get it, alright? However, it's going to be a playthrough that's balanced with other stuff in September. If you actually take a look at September, it's a... It's a a relatively slow month for a major release month, alright? There's games like XCOM 2 being released for consoles, even though it's been out all year. Uh, the new game ReCore on Xbox One. Um, the Bioshock Coll HD Collection is coming out. There's a Dragon Quest VII Remake on 3DS. But really, the only major release, when you really look at September closely, alright, um, is there's Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice at the end of the month, and there's Final Fantasy XV at the end of the month. Alright, so, being that that is the case, I've decided that this Patron's Choice playthrough will be a full playthrough that I will balance in with the downtime during September, okay? Now, here's the deal. I have narrowed it to down to two games. I don't know about the third yet. I wanted to have, kind of have three choices, um... And what I'll do probably over the next few days is try to take feedback from people until I get a good third option. But the choices that I'm thinking of are, number one, Crash Bandicoot 3. This is a game that people have been asking me for since last year when I played both Crash Bandicoot 1 and 2. Um, and they kind of wanted to see me complete the trilogy. I think it's called Crash Bandicoot Warped. Uh, and yeah, it will be a full playthrough. If it will be a completionist playthrough or not, I don't know. But this would be a game that I would balance with other stuff. And uh, I think it would be a lot of fun. People enjoyed my, my Crash 1 and 2 playthroughs last year a lot. Okay, so that's option number one. Option number two. This one, a lot of people may be surprised at. Jack 3. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Jack 3. A game that would complete the Jack trilogy. I've played both Jack 1 and 2. Um, and both playthroughs were interesting for completely different reasons. All right. Uh, and so, uh, you know, people uh, also have been nagging me. Gee, will you ever play Jack 3? Will you ever play Jack 3? And I just kind of like, eh, maybe in downtime. I don't know. Uh, but this will be an option. So it's going to be Crash Bandicoot 3 versus Jack 3 
versus I don't know. I'm I, I kind of want to have a third option. All right, and I don't know which would be a more a viable game. <clears throat> I don't know if there's a game in there that like people have really been dying to see, and just haven't been you know I haven't played it yet or haven't gotten to it yet. I don't know. Um, so I'm curious, and this is what I want. I want your feedback. If you have any ideas of a game that was like a leftover that maybe I had. If someone just said, made a suggestion and said Banjo-Kazooie. You know what? That's perfectly a great suggestion. I have Banjo-Kazooie in the Rare Replay collection from last summer. That could definitely be a viable option. <clears throat> you know, I'm seeing a few other things in the stream chat right now. Manhunt. I don't think I have Manhunt, but I'm pretty sure you can get it emulated on the PS3. Actually, I do have Manhunt, but it's only on PS2, and it doesn't load work on my PS3. It doesn't have backwards compatibility. So, I'm going to try to think of one more game to put into the running for this poll. It's going to take me probably a couple days to narrow it down, all right? And once I narrow it down, um, I'm going to create the goal for the month for Patreon. I'm going to put it up, and then, you know, people will be able to start pledging towards it for August, and we'll go from there. I think this should be way more successful than a Patron's Choice playthrough where, you know, you don't even know if you have a chance to really get a game in that you want to see. In this case, it's three games that most people probably want to see. Alright, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm going to have that done for you in the next few days, alright? Um, so that's really all I have to talk about. I want to get started with Batman. Don't want to go too long here on the pre-stream. I wanted to throw all that out there before I got started. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> of course, once again, I got the nasal drip. Ugh. <clears throat> and, uh... The only final thing, of course, that I will say is... If you do get a chance, please check out... The Black Current, my girlfriend's business, where she does lot, or she does, where she makes, uh, handmade glycerin soaps, wax tart melts, great stuff for your body, healthy for you in regards to the soaps. The wax tart melts are a great alternative to burning a scented candle because they don't have an open flame. I don't even need to really plug it because the bottom line is if you just go to the website, uh, that you see here on the screen, etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current. Uh, you're going to see massive amounts of positive reviews. People kind of raving about the quality of her stuff. And uh, actually, we just shipped a few large orders the past few days. There was a giant amount of, I'd say probably four or five big orders that went out. Because she just ended a sale. <clears throat> throat> so, check it out. And that's about it. It's that simple. All right, folks. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to end the pre-stream. We're going to do a latency test. I'm curious to see <laughs> how successful this is going to be. And uh, sadly, if the latency test takes too long, we're probably not going to be doing the interactive portion. But we'll see. I, I want to try it. I want to give it a shot, but I don't know how it's going to work. Okay. All righty then. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I appreciate it. Hope that you are going to enjoy today's stream. I hope the game's good. And I think it's time to start, right? Is it time to start? No? No? Okay, forget it. All right, I quit. That's it. I quit. Close my channels. It's over. I'm starting fresh. I'm going to go... Uh, hmm... What could I do if I were to start a whole new career? What could I do? Let's see. I could probably... It'll be Gardener. Gardener? Nah, it's too much Too much being on your knees and stuff like that. And I don't have good joints. Maybe I'll uh, be an accountant. I actually went to school for accounting and finance. But I decided to go to finance instead of accounting. And what a waste of time that was. Alright, but anyway, I digress. Alright, let's end the free stream and let's actually... Start playing Batman. All right, here we go. <clears throat>